looking at providing a disclosure of origin requirement, mandatory disclosure of origin requirement for uh, genetic resources and associated traditional knowledge. There were concerns, particularly in the African group, about lacking the ability even to require disclosure of origin of traditional knowledge, traditional cultural expressions, or genetic resources that could be used in creating a protectable design. While design is an area that, as Thomas and Christine have both noted, not really harmonized, not seen as widely as important as some of the other areas, it is important and it's becoming more important. Just examples to help illustrate why inserting a permissive uh, ability to require disclosure of origin was important to a number of, of delegations. It was started by the African group, but supported by a number of delegations. We see a lot about cultural misappropriation these days, the fashion law, and the thing with design protection, as in other areas of intellectual property, the subject matter has expanded. So there's a U.S. design patent for Adinkra uh, um, symbols from the Adinkra, Ghanaian Adinkra alphabet. Somebody getting a design patent. <laughs> I'm the letters of the alphabet, really. The Soto blankets um, that very important to the people in the Soto, and yet we see Louis Vuitton creating a shirt. And there can be different kinds of, of harms that can come from this misappropriation. And whether it's registered or not, there can be harms.